Hello, my name's Patrick Nichols. Today I'd like to show you how to perform daily maintenance on a Senebogen 683 telescopic crane in just a few short steps. To start, I climb into the cab. Always make sure to be safe when climbing into the cab. Now I open the door and turn the ignition. After turning the ignition, I check the Senebogen diagnostic system for any faults in the machine or the engine. Next, I make sure the working lights are operational, here on the right side of the machine or at the front of the cab. The code for the mode is set at the load moment limitation. This can be found on the list in the cab. I confirm the mode with OK. And the machine is now ready for operation. When exiting the cab, I check the level of the windshield washer fluid. I make sure the hydraulic lines near the outrigger are secure. I also make sure the lubrication points are being serviced. The outrigger pad should be pinned. There should be no leaks in the hydraulic cylinders and the pipework should move freely. I then check the tyres for damage and check the tyre pressure. Add air as needed to meet specifications. Also make sure the lug nuts are tight. Tighten them with the appropriate tools as needed. At the front axle, I make sure there are no leaks in the pendulum axle cylinder, hydraulic lines and brake pipes. I also check the traction motor for leaks. On the left side of the machine, I open both side flaps. The hydraulic pumps are located here. The intake should be checked for leaks daily. I also check the hydraulic hoses for damage. The air filter is located here. I make sure the suction lines are secure. Two lubrication points for the rotary connection are located here. These should be serviced every week. The fuel filter with the water separator is located here. Water can be drained here if a fault notification appears. The engine oil level can be checked here. It should be at max. Engine oil can also be added here as needed. I make sure the V-belts in the engine are properly tensioned. Then I check the hydraulic oil cooler, charge air and water cooling systems for soiling. I check the terminals of the batteries to make sure the cables are tight. Antifreeze can also be added here. Now I close the side flaps. I check the counterweight to make sure the lashing chains are secure and the lateral bolting on the left and right side of the machine are secure. I also make sure the central pin is secure. The diesel filler neck is located on the right side of the machine. The hydraulic fluid reservoir is located here, with the sight glass located above. This should be at max. The hoist winch 
is located up here. The gear oil level can be seen here in the sight glass and should be in the middle. On the upper carriage, I check the oil level for the slewing gear. This should be at least one quarter full. Now I open the side flap. The hydraulic pump intake can be checked for leaks here. The hydraulic oil reservoir shutoff flap should always be open. The cover of the electrical cabinet should be checked for damage here. The external teeth of the slewing ring should have sufficient lubrication. These can be lubricated from the operator cab as needed. Now I close the side flap. I check the load hook. The lubrication points here should be greased every week. The retaining pins should be present and secure. Here I check the hoist limiter. Its chain should be at least two meters long. I check the retaining pins in the boom head and make sure they're secure. Now I check the retaining bolts in the boom cylinder. There's also a lubrication point here that should be greased every week. The hydraulic fluid reservoir is located on top of the machine. The hydraulic oil filler neck is also located here in case the level isn't at maximum. The central bolt for the main boom is located here. I check the retaining bolt and the lubrication points on the left and right sides. The top of the boom has eight slots. Lubricating nipples are also located here that should be greased every week. These are for the rear sliding block of the telescopic boom. I also make sure the wire rope is lubricated here. And I check it for any damage. Once the boom is lowered, I check the sliding surfaces at the top and bottom. To make sure they have enough lubrication. I hope this instructional video has been helpful in performing daily maintenance on the machine. If you'd like to learn more about the machine, I invite you to take one of our training courses at the Senneburgen Academy.